Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Angela with me. Um, gorgeous Angela, I'm gonna say. Um, you betcha. So, her haircut, super cute. Um, I have a lot of requests for um, cuts with the clippers. So, she does a number four on the back, so I'm gonna show you that. We're going to um, take it tight here and tight around her ears. She is going to start growing this out a little bit more in this top a little bit. Not really the bangs, we like them PC and cute, um, but we are going to bring this and start growing this. So I will show you what we're gonna do in a minute. Okay, so we, taking the number four. We was just teasing. So her friend comes, I cut her hair too. We're gonna go shorter in the back next time. Um, but we tease about how just easy it is to just get all this back off. <laughs> Then you just don't have to worry about it. Not that we're, we won't shave yours. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, we won't shave you, but we will go shorter so it's easier for you. All right, so you can see I've just come along all of this back. Okay. So if there's any couch, you wanna go the opposite way to make sure that you get it even. Okay, perfect. Just don't want any little stragglers. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna come up here. Now the top you still want a little bit shorter, Definitely right? Definitely wanna spike so, that. Okay, so we wanna spike that, but we're just growing here. Yes. Um, make sure when you're talking to your clients that you you know make those things clear. Like, just because if I would've just barely trimmed up here and back here, she would've been nuts. So she still wants to spike this, but we are going to grow this. So we are gonna come short, and you can see how my fingers are starting to angle up. That's because we're barely, barely, barely going to trim this front part. Um, and that's just to get it to grow. So all this short, because she's gonna spike it. Then I'll show you what to do with the front area. So this is a good way, um, of knowing how to start growing um, a shortcut. Okay, same thing right here. We're gonna bring this point cut into that to make sure that it's short enough to stick up easy. <laughs> easy peasy, right, Ed? That's right. Okay, point cut, point cut. So you can see, like when I start point cutting into this, it's just going straight down into this area. And we'll blend that here shortly. Okay, so that part's all done. We, we did keep that short there. Now what we're going to do is take from, let me, that needs to be a little shorter through there. As I'm holding that up, that part's not short enough. So you can see I'm taking this top part a little bit shorter because I don't want her to get home and not have it short enough. <laughs> so might as well go over it again, right? <laughs> okay, now from this short area, there it is, I'm going to come angle up and I am barely going to trim this. So when people say, well, I wanna grow my hair out, literally trim it this much, like you can see I'm just barely trimming it, still point cutting the little trim, but we're gonna let that grow, so. And it's crazy, people will say, well, I don't wanna cut my hair um, because I'm growing it. And if you just take like I did, just barely that tiny, tiny little ends, it literally will grow faster, I promise you. Okay, so her sides, we wanna keep this long. So trim, barely, barely, and barely, barely, because she wants that front longer. Okay, same over here. Trim that. And then of course we will blend all of this together in a minute. Okay, and now her front area is so cute. And by the way, she styles it phenomenal. <laughs> she always, when she comes in, it's so cute. She has this pieced out like perfect every time. 
Anyway, it looks really good. Okay, so you want to make sure that there is movement in the front of this cut. Um, and especially like she's doing this longer here, shorter here, and then we're going to piece this out. So she's getting the short look here, but a little longer, we're growing here, but we really need a PC and Q around her face. So you can see I'm, I'm opening and shutting my shears in a really soft way. So not like this, but just a little bit at a time. Okay, and then if we feel like we need to do some more after, then we will just gonna come up here, do a little bit on this side, open and shut the shears very softly. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to texturize and then we're going to blend, okay? I'm bringing this texturizing shear in towards more of the bottom of the hair, not at the scalp up about a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then I'm coming through this area. And she has a lot of hair through these sides. So um, after I blend this, if I need to come back through with these blending shears to have it blend a little bit better, then we will do that. Okay, now the chunky texturizing just up through this top. I'm not gonna do really a ton in that front because she's growing that, so we want that look, but we still want that um, spiky on the top. So we're only gonna do it on that top part. Okay, now, a blending comb is ginormous when you are blending. Um, you definitely don't wanna blend with a big chunky comb. It's hard to get close to the blending spot. Okay, so you're gonna come in if you've, if you've blended before, you can go back and forth like this a lot faster and get it done faster if you want. But if you're starting out, just take the clippers up your comb like this. Just in little, little slow motions. Oh, see, I'm used to doing it that way. That's a habit. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit slower here and come up. Okay. Now on this side, I'm gonna do it this way. So you can see how I did it the other side. And do it this way. Okay, I'm gonna show you by her ear what we're going to do. Okay, so where she's wanting to grow this, I don't wanna to get too much up into here, but I do need this tight. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the clipper and go up where her ear is so clean see how that's nice and clean okay and then I'm gonna just push that hair down and we are going to take all of that hair off which her natural hair color is now this is it absolutely phenomenal it's just gorgeous the dark and the like super light oh she's just lucky to have this color Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this bulk off by sticking the comb in and I'm gonna pull it back out. Okay, just a little bit around this ear. And like I said, I'm not taking it up like we did before. We're just kind of coming around her ear. Then when we dry, if we need to take a little bit more than we can, but I don't want this sticking out and bugging her around her ear. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, it bugs. <laughs> That's one of the first things that bugs you, right? That's right. That's the spot. Yep, it is, it is. So we definitely want that tight around her ear. And we'll see, once I blow dry, if we need to go a little bit tighter, then we can. But that that's what we're doing there. Okay, now 
I'm just making sure this is all blended well. Coming back here one more time. I always like to look different ways. Like you want to look this way, like check out all the different ways so you know that it is being blended at every angle. So, you know, when your client leaves, they're not having big chunks that are still long. Okay, so same thing here. We're gonna come up around the ear. Just follow her ear back here. I just moved the ear, taking that hair out from behind there. Then we bring this comb in and keep it tight in and then you pull out. Because if you leave that comb all the way in like this and you go up, you're taking that length that we're growing. So you need to bring it in and then you need to hold it back out just to take that bottom length off. So you don't get into that top. And then like I said, we will blend more if we need to when we dry it. All right, okay. Then with the bottom and around this way, you're going to just clean this up. Just kind of rounding the sides here, coming up and making this really nice and clean. And then she has a little bit of a cowlick that comes this way. So what you need to do with that is go opposite of the way it is growing. So any cowlick that you need shorter, because it's always going to be longer in that little cowlick, you want to put your comb in the opposite way of the cowlick to get that hair to stand up and take it so it's the same length. Okay, we're gonna round this. Okay, so that way I'm just making sure that this is tight. So when it starts growing out, it doesn't bug her. Okay, now just gonna make sure this is nice and clean, that we cleaned it up good with the clippers. Okay, that should be good. All right, one more thing I'm going to do before I dry is go through this blended area one more time with these shears. That way it helps blend especially where her hair is so, like she has a ton of it, um, but it's straight. So this will help that blend because sometimes with that type of hair, it's harder to blend. So this is a really good um, key to getting it to blend also. Um, obviously you have to watch it. Like you can't take too much out or it's gonna look funny. So be careful. Don't like blend too, too much with that. Okay. All right, now the mousse. Okay, it's the Add Volume Mousse from KMS. This is going to give it volume. It'll be fun to see the front a little longer. Yeah. Your hair grows fast, so. Very fast. <laughs> so it won't take you long. Okay, so just drying this down, it's obviously going to stay in that spot, so we just go back and forth with the fingers up top. Too, to get a little bit of volume, but just make sure you don't 
dry it like that way because she wants it like longer than this one. So you can see how it's sticking up, but now it's coming in to the loan, but it's blended. It's not cut and cut, it's blended. going to turn around and see if we need to blend anything um then we'll go from there but we are going to have this cute and spiky here we're going to bring this down longer and then um i really have to make sure it's pieced out really cute like she does it <laughs> so she does it really good okay i'm gonna turn her to the mirror Nice. Does that feel better? Yes. Good. Just kind of have that a little bit longer mm -hmm. through there and then tight here. Perfect. Good. good Just good. what I was looking for. Good. I'm so glad. How do the bangs feel? Are they feeling too long or do they feel, what do you think? I think they'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Especially where we're going a little longer on mm -hmm. this side, huh? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now I'm just going to, oh man, but she gives us so good. Okay. I'm going to back home a little bit, just back here. And with the texture, honestly, it, it'll it just stay in. <laughs> okay, then I spray. I'm just gonna put this back into place. Sorry, one more time. I'm turning to the, okay, let's see. I need to come this way. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay, perfect. Yay. How are you doing with your color? Are you getting used to it? I am. Good. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> She's like, Redon, I don't know if I can do this. I'm like, I can. The you more can the brown this. leaves, the better. I'm good. Right? Yeah. It's just so gorgeous. Okay, super cute. Okay, I'm gonna turn her around so you can see how cute and tight. I love it, cute, cute pixie. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys um, loved the video. I love her haircut, I love her. And um, let me know if you have any questions. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if, if I don't, keep trying. I don't know, <laughs> I, I have had an issue getting a hold of her it was sad but anyway long story short reach out to me if you need to i would love to help so have a good day see ya